The first thing God instituted on the face of this earth was marriage. Because it is through marriage you establish a family. It's amazing. So he created male and female. God, Elohim, created male and female. And out of male and female, family came. There is no other way. Family cannot exist with, unless there is a male and a female. Um, <laughs> so the Lord, Elohim, created male and female. It is out of male and female you can establish a family. Anything outside of male and female, it is no family no matter how many children you want to adopt. You know why? Because God created something in a male that is absent in a female and vice versa. He created something in a female that is absent in a male. Same sex parents have missing, they have something missing. Whether males, both males or both females, there is, there is imbalance. What influences a male is logic. What influences a female is feelings and emotions. Two males have logic, no feelings, emotions. Two females have feelings, emotions, no logic. No matter how much you try to change your body, what God has done, my dear friend, you cannot create or uncreate. You go and speak to any psychologist. You go and speak to any psychologist. Is the influence of the man different to the influence of a woman? They'll tell you yes. Why? Because this is the way God <laughs> intended it to be. When a male and a female beca become parents, the picture is, is complete, it is perfect. That child needs both parents as male and female in order for that child to grow and flourish in a complete picture that makes a human a human. So the daddy gives the child logic the mom, the mom gives the child feelings and emotions. When I run to my mom, seek her help, mom talks to me totally different to the way dad talks to me. You know what logic is? You go and ask your dad for something, yeah, no worries, son, go and get it. Or he'll say, be quiet, none of your business, get out of here, I'm not giving it. Period. Logic is very short, straight to the point. Logic is when you go shopping as a male, you want to buy something, you will go straight to that shelf, grab that thing and out of that place as fast as you can. A woman goes shopping, good luck my dear husband, if you go shopping with your woman, you will never hear the end of it. She wants to buy a glass or a vase. She'll take you to every shopping center. She will go to West Me, uh, Westfield Shopping Center in Parramatta. She'll take you through four levels. She'll take you to all the 5,000 shops that in that shopping center. And after 22 or 23 and 59 seconds, she'll say, oh, hubby, I found the vase. Okay, can we now buy it and go home? Poor husband is falling apart. Why does it take a woman to go throughout the shopping center to buy one thing that she intended to go for and get? Because women moves, lives, and pushed through feelings, emotions. She wants to feel things. She wants to touch things. She wants to smell things. Okay, let me look at the perfume. She's going to buy some shoes, but she'll go to the perfume. She'll go to the jewelry. She'll go everywhere because she is driven by feelings, emotions, and the male gets angry. Well, he can't get angry because that's the way God created her. And when God created her in this way, don't force to change it because you cannot, you are causing World War Three at home. Just go with it. <laughs> You'll be rewarded later. So the man goes straight to the shelf, get it and out of there. I don't have the time, that's logic. So the dad will say, grab it, yes, and take it. The mom will say, come here, my child. Why do you want this? 
Can you please explain to mommy, why should I give it to you? I wanna smell, I wanna feel, I wanna touch. After an hour long conversation, she may say yes or she may say no. Logic, feelings and emotions are the perfect picture to give your child. God created, established marriage on earth. And through marriage, he intended to establish a family, establish a family. Satan, the first thing he attacked was family. The first thing he attacked was family. Because Satan knew that if I can destroy a family, I have destroyed society. If I can destroy a family, I have destroyed the church. If I can destroy a family, I have destroyed the human race because what makes up the human race is family. The foundation to the church, the foundation to society, the foundation to any culture, the foundation to any race, the foundation to every human race is family. Satan, in the very beginning of in the Garden of Eden, he attacked family and tried to destroy it. In the 21st century, Satan has come back again, attacking family to destroy everything else with it.